Why should I respect your opinions that animals are made for you to be food? In other words, why should you respect somebody how think people are made for food? Like Jeffrey Dahmer. Why shall you respect a child molester? Why? Why should you respect a child molester? Why should you respect a farmer who abuse cows? How being executed on the age of true till five, sometimes seven. Cows can live up to the age of 20 to 25. So basically, there are child abusers, the farmers. Why should you respect the chicken farmer? Did you know that chickens can live up to the age of 10 when they get a chance? But most chickens, specific in the meat, dairy and egg industry, only live to the age of one and a half because there are constants forcing to be laying eggs that will drive out their calcium reserves, backups, and then they will uh, get osteoporosis. And when that time comes, they go to the chicken execution chamber and be turned in maybe chicken breath or stuffed chicken what a sick ridiculous culture we live in what a sick puppet we are dancing fucking not caring about the world believe we are so special but in reality we are not special at all we are not what was intended we are born in a cult. Think about it. The masses of the society called us people. The true meaning of people come from the word persona. And persona means an actor's mask. In statics, they called you capita, which means in Latin property. We have one part apartment of human resources. They don't give an F about you. They don't care about, F about me. They give about your viral to them. They're psychopaths. That's what our society is ruled by. Psychopaths and sociopaths, narcissists. The most worst of people are on the top. Look in most societies, all smooth or a little bit less smooth. Bunch of imbeciles are ruling the countries. The countries are not ruled by the most wise. Most countries are ruled by the most powerful, the most rich, the most arrogant and the people with their biggest mouths. Welcome to the insane dream called capitalism. Capitalism has many things in common with Finglism. Capitalism is a system with Faru, the property owners. Capitalists feed themselves on the wealth of other countries. Finglism feeds themselves on the wealth of his own people, of his own country. In Vindalism, you have only a small amount of rich people. In capitalism, you can have a little bit more rich people. But it comes with a price that you have to exploit other countries for your goods. And that's what we do in the West. With China and what China now does with uh, South Africa. Their capitalism needs prey to exploit. It needs victims to abuse. It needs victims to steal from and to manipulate in doing their business. Capitalism works like a bloodsucker. 
The essence of capitalism is to turn nature into commodities and turn commodities into capital. The life green earth is turned into nothing more than with a glittering mansion look out of the people who are in, held in captivity with armed force with drugs and with propaganda. Capitalism is a fundamentally insane system in its ascension. It believes in private ownership. It believes in might make a right. If you are richer, you can make it. When you are born in poverty, you can most likely not make it. It does not give equal chances. In contrary, which his defenders will tell you. At least not the forms we know today. How exploit the weaker. Don't think like a capitalist. The capitalist mindset is that one is the one of an exploiter. It is the mindset that there are, must be a class in a society. That you have masters and you have servants. That you have dictators and you have civilians. That you have kings and you have peasants. That you have animals and you have humans. That you have the status quo and chaos. And that the status quo is equal to justice. It is not reason it is not capable of reasoning. It is dogmatic. It creates extremely unsound insane. Insane difference in wealth. It allows people, just eight people, to own more than the entire other half of the population. The poorest people on the planet have, have less, poorest 50% of all the people own less than the richest eight billionaire exploiting capitalists. I will that you let this sink in. Think about it. Capitalism gives you not free choice. Sure, capitalism gives you some choices. But it doesn't give you free choices. And capital and the people who control it choose what you want to have. They are manipulating you with their propagandas and billboards. And the marketing slowers. And the brainwashing stupidity of their marketing. Which will sink into your brain and which suggestion will brainwash you. But now furthermore about cults. People who are in cults often don't see that there are in a cult. This cult called Carnism or maybe better Omnivorism have a lot of victims exactly according to their own statics. 2.8 trillion sea animals and 70 billion Land animals. They are not willing participants. They are killed in extremely brutal, cruel, savage, barbaric, psychopathic, evil ways. They are cut with a knife, like ISIS do, where it's people who live in a state of ISIS. Who don't uh, obey them 
good enough and I don't are Muslims or don't want to be Muslims. Sounds to me like a pretty savage cult. People who sit around one table and celebrating corpses, the murder of corpses, the people who murder the innocent animal for traditions, beliefs and habits, rituals. Yes, you are in a cult, a pretty savage cult, one how caused unnecessary harm, one cult how is incapable of surviving because it is unsustainable. The average American carnist or omniv or omnivorist consumes around 100 to 120 kilograms of flesh and takes around three acres of land. Whatever, if you look to the average American carnivore dieter, it takes 14 acres of land and there eats around 550 kilograms of flesh. Now, you come to kick up. On, or on, a, on one acre of land, you can feed six people on a plant based diet. That's how sustainable veganism is. Again, if you put it next to the corn for or omnivore diet. It is ecological, unsustainable and irresponsible. Yes, I look to you, all the idiots. I think that it is a good idea to support one lifestyle based on unsustainability. You're in the seals of the carnivore diet. If I don't care that you don't care about them. But you don't can support one diet which is totally unresponsible and unnecessary and is totally, and I repeat, totally ecological and disaster. I hope you will eat each other since some of your people have fantasies of cannibalism like that Swearage. Fuck the heart. Swearage. You still some fantasies of cannibalism? Eating again, I wanted flesh so much that I... A danger to myself and they... Uh, I w they want to send me to some other place. Uh, uh, there is a lot of stuff going wrong there and that's why I wanted to just bite one of them and eat them. <laughs> Looking back at this, it doesn't seem weird at all, but actually generally now since I've been eating raw meat, I don't find it weird in any way at all. It's actually really quite natural. You must kill Sverry. If you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not the victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims, make fun of their entire existence, Label them stupid and dirty, like Hitler, like Gaddafi, like Idin Hamid, and many more have done to the Pacific victims. But when you are the victim, or you speak up for the victims, like we figures do, you speak up for the victims. Think a little more different from that angle. Go vegan. And don't support one unsustainable, immoral, and psychopathic way of life. All through past three stages. First, it is mocked and ridiculed. Second, it is finally opposed. And then, it is accepted as celebrity.